So the question motivating this video is how do we work with dummy variables in running our linear regression in Radiant? Or in other words, how do we work with factor variables? And I'm going to continue as usual with the data set that you've seen in the theory videos, which um, for a brief recap, dealt with different ranks and qualifications of professors. So qualification could be practitioner or academic, um, ranks were lecturer, assistant, associate, and full professor, and we have information on their salary. And so what we were trying to do, or what we're interested in, is explaining uh, any relationship between these two factors, rank and qualification. How do different ranks, different levels of ranks, or types of qualification affect a professor's salary. So um, for today, I'm simply going to copy this data into Radiant. Uh, so once again, this was just the standard view, the diamonds data set we're going to load. And I am going to select clipboard, which means I am allowed to paste whatever I've got copied uh, currently in the clipboard. And we have our data set. So um, given that we have this information and we're running a regression, let's say we simply run that regression and let's see what happens. So we go, we select linear regression, and we're trying to explain or predict salary by qualification and rank. Now these categorical variables are also called factors for us and um, we won't change anything else here as usual just select the confidence intervals and we'll estimate this model so and this is what we get so uh, what we get is the result and four different coefficients for different levels of these two factors. Uh, and precisely because um, qualification only has two levels, which is professional and academic, what happens is that um, R created a dummy variable for us. We didn't have to do anything ourselves. Um, and this output tells us that this dummy variable represents qualification professional. And we are given the coefficient, which is the effect of, on salary of somebody, somebody being a professional, all other things um, held constant, in comparison to an academic, because that's the other level of this qualification variable. And um, we, in the same way, are given three more coefficients for the different ranks um, from associate, instructor, uh, to professor. Now, in this case, the one that we're not seeing, which is um, assistant professor, is captured in the intercept. And what that means for us is that we interpret this as we just did with professional in the same sense that an associate professor, um, on average, makes uh, this amount more in salary compared to an assistant professor, so about three and a half thousand more. Um, because assistant professor is our, uh, what's called the reference category. So basically what happened is that when we run the linear regression using uh, factors, using um, our categorical variables, uh, dummies were automatically created for us. We didn't have to do anything ourselves. And we can interpret this and work with this uh, as we just did, and this could be it. However, you noticed possibly that uh, assistant professor was taken here as the reference category and academic was taken for qualification as the reference category. And particularly for rank, this may be counterintuitive because in our... Uh, intuitive rank, instructor was the lowest, then comes assistant, then comes associate, and then comes professor. So why do we have instructor and then we skip to associate, etc.? Um, 
if we want to, and if we would have created these dummies manually, we probably would have taken um, as a first go instructor as the reference um, category, our lowest category. And the same for qualification professional versus academic. Um, now, there's a simple way of doing that for us, which is we simply need to go into data, and I'll show you why this happened. Then we can go into transform, and here we're given our three different variables. And let's say for qualification, we really wanted to have the dummy created in the sense that we get uh, practitioner as the reference category and we get the, we get the coefficient for uh, the, the academic expressed in terms of the academic. Uh, it's really less interesting in this case because we only have two levels, but we'll see uh, how we can do this also for a rank. So what we do is we just go in here, transformation type, and we select remove reorder levels. And once we click on that, uh, first of all, you see currently how the levels are expressed down here. And what it shows is it's first academic and then it's professional. And this basically is how these dummies were automatically created for us. Our, in essence, looks at um, the lowest, in this case, being alphabetically ordered, being at the academic, and therefore it's taking it as the reference category. Um, if we want to change this, all we have to do here in reorder remove levels is move the professional to the first position. And now we have professional being the reference category when we automatically create these um, dummies. And academic is the second. Uh, what we still need to do is if we just want to uh, basically use that same variable instead of creating a new one, we'll just click on store and it's changed um, the order of the different levels of our qualification factor. We don't see any other difference in the data, obviously, but it'll affect us when we uh, run the model and get our uh, dummies. Now, we also wanted to do this for rank. And here, we'll just do the same thing. So transformation type, remove reorder levels. And as we hypothesized and, well, we knew assistant professor, because it's alphabetically the first, is taken as the reference category, it's the lowest. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen by basically moving instructor ahead of assistant professor. So now it's in the nice order that we would expect it to be. And now instructor is going to be taken as the reference category. And we save this by clicking store and let's see what happened let's see if this worked out for us so we'll go back into model linear regression and just re-estimate this regression with the same variables and as you see it did what we wanted it to do, which is now it's given us the coefficient expressed uh, for an academic. Because it's only two levels, it's basically the same positively. Um, so the difference is positive 22 as opposed to negative 22 for uh, an academic versus a uh, professional. But um, in this case, more importantly for us, it also did it with uh, the rank factor. So now we have assistant professor, associate professor, and professor all being compared to um, the instructor. And obviously if we wanted to use associate professor as our reference card category because let's say we wanted to have a statistical test or p-value for the difference between an assistant and an associate, which we can do based on this output, all we had to do is go back into reorder and change levels and choose associate professor as the lowest, which will then be taken as the reference category. And then we would get a rank coefficient for assistant, for professor, as well as for instructor. And associate professor would be our reference category. So in essence, those are uh, the automatically created dummies for us and how we 
uh, change those to different reference categories if we wanted to and also understand for why certain uh, levels are taken as the reference category to begin with. Um, something else that we could do is let's say for a particular reason um, we do not want to rely on the automatic um, dummy uh, creation that R uh, carries out for us. And we would like to code these ourselves. We can do this quite simply by going back into the data window and select the variable that we want, for instance, like qualification. And what we'd like to do is we'd, cre we'd want to create a dummy uh, for this uh, factor. And we do this by going down here into transformation tape and we'll create a new variable. And this new variable, um, and by the way, uh, this is also very useful uh, for us as a function. Whenever, we whenever we're in this interface and we have questions regarding, so how do we create new variables? How do we write this out? We know we want to create a dummy, but I'm not necessarily sure about how the code should look uh, for us to create this by hand. So if I wouldn't know, I could click down here on the help button and it gives us a really nice help function in terms of these are the different options and uh, for create we have uh, a little sub uh, part here which tells us uh, for instance you could create a variable taking the average of another variable etc. And what we want in this case is as you see here an if else function. We want to create a dummy based on the level being academic or being um, professional. In this case, let's say we would like to go and say uh, dummy, we're going to call this new variable dummy qual, the dummy qualification, we may as well write it out. And that is going to be an if else. And it's going to be qualification, which is our qualification variable. If qualification is academic, then please um, let that be a one, otherwise a zero, which basically then gives us the dummy, which is a one if uh, qualification is academic and a zero otherwise. So our reference category in this case will be uh, the professional and we're going to get a coefficient for this dummy which relates to somebody being an academic. And we just click enter and um, it's showing us what happens. So we've got a new dummy. It's giving us some uh, summary uh, information on how that happened. And also once more, very useful, it's giving us down here the command log which is, which is the actual code uh, for what we created. So I created a couple of different variables before they here. Let's say we want to save particularly this transformation to our report, uh, which then allows us to uh, use this uh, later on or to see what we did. How do we create this dummy qualification variable? So we click on this report results button and um, we get this last part 